First of all, the hadith Um Amina is referring to is authentic. And the Prophet said to Adi ibn Hatim al Ta'i, may Allah be pleased with him, that soon you will see a woman, Dha'ina, traveling on her own from Yemen to Hadramaut, or from Hadramaut to Mecca, or from this area to that area, different narrations, fearing no one except the wolf on herself, or something similar to that, as the Prophet had said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And she's asking, how is this possible when we know that the Prophet prohibited alayhi salatu wasalam, women from traveling alone without the companionship of a male mahram? First of all, the Prophet was giving us a prophecy alayhi salatu wasalam, of what would happen in the future. Not that he is approving of it. When the Prophet tells us that Ad Dajjal, the Antichrist, the imposter, would come and do heinous things in the world within 40 days. That's his lifespan on earth. Did the Prophet ﷺ endorse his actions? Of course not. Their heinous actions, their kufr, their blasphemous. But he was telling us a prophecy of what was going to come. So this is one of the logical answers to why the Prophet told us about a woman traveling on her own, alayhi salatu wasalam. Secondly, the Prophet has said in numerous hadiths, a lot of hadiths, and directed us and told us and taught us about the prohibition of a woman traveling on her own. So we don't need to come to an isolated incident as such talking about the prophecy in the future and try to bend evidences to justify that women may travel alone. The ruling is fixed till the day of judgment. So we have to stick to it because this is what Muslims do and Allah knows best.